Hi, this brief video will show you how waterfall visualizations in Oracle Analytics respectively handle metrics that have a sum aggregation rule or an average aggregation rule. So for this example, let's use a data set about students in different departments over three years. So we have 86 students in 2019, 92 in 20, and 88 in 21. And these break down into different departments. So if I visualize a trellis by department, I see A, B, C, D. And I see about 20 students in A, about 50 in B, 12 in C, and 4 in D. So if I represent this into a waterfall visualization, a simple waterfall will just give me a breakdown from 86 to 88 with the variation of the different years. But if I drag the department column in the detail grammar field of the waterfall, I now get a detailed bridge report of the contribution of each department to the growth in every year. So department B went up to 56 from 44, an increase of 12, which made the most of the yearly increase. And the department C, however, decreased by six students. So that visualization clearly helped me understand which individual and to which extent contributed to a variation between two gray bars, which in my case are years. Now, this is fairly straightforward because obviously number of students is a cumulative metric. The aggregation rule is sum. Now, let me try with a different metric here, which is the average score of each student, which has a aggregation rule of average. So in the simple bar chart, I can see that the evolution of the average score goes from 2.9 to 2.92. If I break it down by department, I can see that there was an increase in A, a big increase in D. But again, this is showing me the average aggregation of the score for each of these bars. So if I drag the average score in the waterfall visualization, the waterfall will apply the proper aggregation to explain the variation from one year to another. Let me change the axis so that we have a better visualization here. Let me start at two, for instance. And the chart is showing me a weighted contribution for each department to the overall variation of the average from one year to another one. So if you look at, uh, for instance, department B from 20 to 21, it went down to an average 269. And in the chart, I can see that this represented a significant contribution to the overall decrease of the average by 0 0.23. So if I compare this with Department D, the average score increased a lot more from 2020 to 21 by 1.5 points from 4 to 550. That's a much higher increase. However, in the chart, the contribution to the overall year-to-year -year increase was much lesser than Department B. Well, the reason for this is that the waterfall visualization uses a proper weighted average aggregation to calculate the, the contribution of each department. If you remember, if I drag the number of students in the chart, you will remember that department D is only four students, whereas the department B is a lot bigger with 56 students. So the impact of a change in average of B is a much higher on the overall change than it is for D. And that's what the waterfall visualization is showing by default in Oracle Analytics. Thanks for watching this video.